Repeat this three times in a day. Three times in a day, morning, afternoon, evening. I see how your life will change. This is not like your normal prayer, but just always learn to declare this morning, afternoon, evening, and you will never remain the same again. There is power in this declaration. When you start declaring this, you will come for testimony. There is power in your tongue and there is power in the words of the Lord. This has worked for many and your case will never be different. You are most welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Henrietta and in here I guide you. I share with you spiritual things that will help you greatly draw you closer to God and help you assess your miracle faster with the power of the Lord. So please subscribe if you have not and make sure the bell is turned on. To get regular updates do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends okay may god bless you you are going to repeat this scripture psalm 1 verse 3 morning afternoon and evening there is power in that words of the lord the words of the lord represent god himself yes the only connection the only way you can reach god is through his words so why not take is well seriously. Many of you, you read your Bible like a piece of literature. Stop reading your Bible like a piece of literature or for fun. Bible is everything. The words of the Lord is God himself and he does not go back on his word. So if you, at the time, you don't experience fruitfulness, your labor always go in vain. Not just monetary. When you put in your effort in doing certain things, you don't always see results. From your efforts, no matter what you embark on, a project you don't always finish. There are people they start, they don't finish. There are people when they work, they don't see results. The more you work, the more you fail. Nothing is working for you. You are very hard working and yet you are sick poor. No matter what you are working on, maybe you are working on your marriage to make sure there is peace in your marriage, but yet the marriage is still in this unity or maybe you have been working hard to make sure your business is growing to attract customer but yet no result or maybe you have been working to get a good job a good paying job to get your passport your visa whatever you want your papers whatever you want god can do it for you no failure is permitted in your life from now on in the name of Jesus, you will not fail at anything again because failure is very painful. After putting in all your effort, all your strength, you end up failing. At times, the one that is more painful is when you are putting in your effort. You are seeing that it is getting better. You are about to succeed. When it is time for you to start enjoying your success, everything goes down. That is failure at the edge of your miracle. It happens in several ways. Near success syndrome. Please pray this very well. So get your Bible and go to Psalm 1, verse 3. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. What is God saying? God is saying that you will be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Any tree planted by the rivers of water. Any tree planted by water will always bring forth fruit because it is fertile. Yes, the leaf of that tree will never go dry. That leaf represents your effort and you shall prosper at whatever you do. So God is saying that he's going to make your life be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. He's going to make your life richly blessed. He's going to make your life fruitful and you shall always be a fruit. You will not be barren. Your effort will never go wasted. You will prosper at whatever you do. If you cannot quote this without reading your Bible, no problem. You can get your Bible and quote it. Just take your Bible and quote it and make it personal. Make it personal like this. I will be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. I will bring forth fruit in all seasons. My effort will never go wasted. And whatsoever I do, I shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Amen. This is how to make it personal. When you say your leaf will never dry, it means your effort. This is how I do this. In the morning, do this, say this, and go out. And see the words of the Lord manifesting in your life. 
after saying this, you can as well add by saying, I establish the words of the Lord in Psalm 1 verse 3 in my life today. In my life today, Thursday. In my life today, Wednesday. In my life today, Tuesday. Or any other day. I establish the promises of fruitfulness and prosperity in my life today. Wednesday, in the name of Jesus Christ, today shall be a fruitful day for me. Today I shall prosper at whatever I do. Today my effort will not go wasted. In the name of Jesus, amen. You can end up by saying that short prayer. Then in the afternoon again, even when you are busy, just take a break and declare it again. Even if you cannot quote it like it is in the Bible, if you are not with your Bible, I hear Rieta. I am like a tree planted by the rivers of water. I will always bear fruit. My effort will never go wasted. I will prosper in what I do. Today in the name of Jesus Christ. I call for prosperity. My business, listen and hear the words of the Lord. Today you shall prosper. My work, listen and hear the words of the Lord. Today you shall prosper. My effort, listen and hear the words of the Lord. Today you shall prosper. Today, Wednesday, listen and hear the words of the Lord. Today you shall prosper. In the name of Jesus, I receive it. Let the blessing of the Lord be established in my life. I declare all round fruitfulness, all round prosperity into my life in the name of Jesus. Amen. And by this time, maybe you are still at work. Then in the evening when you get home, you also have to repeat this after saying your night prayer. The same pattern. You start by Asking God for forgiveness, to forgive your sin, those things you have done wrongly, and you thank God for preserving you. You went out, you came back in peace. Then you read Psalm 91. Yes, a prayer for protection. You can read that Psalm also in the morning or in the evening. Then you pray to God to guide you through the night and you declare this again. Say this three times every day and see how fruitful you will become. You will become so fruitful. No more wasted effort. You will never experience, after putting in all your effort, no result. It will never be your portion. God will open your doors. God loves a prayerful Christian that can stand on his words. And the words of the Lord shall be established. From now on, everything will start working for you speedily. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Make sure the bell notification is turned on to always get updates. Give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends. May God bless you. You are fruitful from now on. You will prosper from now on. You will make it in all you do from now on. In Jesus' name, amen.